To see the Hawke's Bay at its best, you have to get up early. It's daybreak on Long Range Farm and the lambs are enjoying some fresh grass in the new paddock. This large sheep station is located in southern Hawke's Bay. It's been hand-picked by Ovation, a major meat exporting company, which sends premium quality lamb to Europe, Asia and America. Farmer Ryan Foley takes real pride in managing this spectacular property. What an unbelievable office you've got here. Yeah, it's hard to beat. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. So tell me, where are we? So at the moment, Nick, we're at the uh, eastern end of the property, uh, Long Range Station. It's uh, 1,060 effective hectares at 2,600 acres, roughly, uh, running sheep and beef. So um, as you can see, it's a pretty nice spot to be. Mate, this is absolutely beautiful. Ovation makes regular farm visits to keep in touch with farmers and provide feedback on what customers want. So how many sheep do you have here? Well, just over 11,000 sheep. Um, Nick, we've got uh, 3,200 breeding ewes and um, the rest is made up by, by lambs. So uh, that's, a, that's a lot of sheep. So I think from a consumer's point of view overseas, they're really wanting to see pastures like this. Uh, animals being reared on ryegrass and clover. Yeah, um, dead right. As, as opposed to intensive farming practices. So it's, uh, this is what it's all about. Too right. Yeah. Yep, giving them the best we possibly can. The property is sustainably managed to protect the environment. They plant 6,000 trees here each year and have done extensive work to improve irrigation. This is a good one. Oh, it's a beauty. This is a manuka, is it? That's right. We planted this about three years ago, this one and they're, they're absolutely flourishing in this environment. And so something we do quite a lot of on an annual basis, <coughs> retire a lot of, lot of land and, and plant natives in there, brings the bird life, the bees, especially manuka honey, you know, it's um, got hives on the farm as well. So yeah, just doing our bit for the environment. All of our customers, whether in China, whether they're in North America, whether Europe, they're all talking about the sustainable farming practice. So from that point of view, um, uh, we like to hand pick our farms and this is one of the most important farms for us producing a sustainable uh, lamb on a year-round basis. I get the feeling that this is something that really is important to you. It is, it's something I'm very passionate about, it's something I can leave behind, uh, it's good for the planet. I'll keep planting as long as I'm around. Oh, you're a good man. Yeah. I think people in future generations are really going to appreciate that. I hope so. The lambs are regularly drafted and sorted and Ryan can spot a rookie shepherd a mile off. This is pretty nerve-wracking. Whoa! Look at that guy. <laughs> the lambs pass through a weighing machine each week to check they're in prime condition. So what do we got here? So what we've got here is we've set the scales up to be weighing 41 kilos and better straight ahead there and anything that's under that criteria will go straight back out to pasture and, until next week and um, just basically aiming for that perfect lamb. What breed's this? We've got a Texel Cross lamb here. Nick, it's um, a breed we like to use, it um, finishes nicely through the shoulder, the loin and the back end. So Nick, all these lambs have been raised without antibiotics, without hormones, and they're GMO free, genetically modified organism free. That is great to hear, that's what I want to hear in every product that I get. Off you go buddy. Alright.